Good evening, dudes and dudettes. It's Light Liger here, as always. And today we're gonna be switching some gears. So I'm gonna be reviewing a wallet for a change. The wallet in question is called Neon, which is a Neo-based wallet. And this is something that I've been using, I wanna say late 2018 or early 2019 when I started using this wallet. And I've seen it go through a couple of patches and so on. And one of the things that is very convenient about Neon Wallet is that you can import your private keys from, let's say, Atomic Wallet, Exodus, Trust Wallet, any other wallet that supports Neo, but doesn't necessarily support claiming the gas, which is an integral part of, you know, holding Neo all together. So what you can do is you can import those private keys into the Neon Wallet and you can claim through the Neon Wallet in case you have a wallet that doesn't have that claiming feature on it. And one of the other things I like about it is that it allows you to have multiple accounts on this one. So let's say you have a family or a roommate who also has a Neon wallet. You and him can have separate passwords for separate accounts. And there's also logins through private key, encrypted keys, and there's even a ledger support. So Neon Wallet kind of has all the things um, that you desire. So let me log into the platform so we can get into the kind of the platform. And I like the very sleek colors here. All the fonts are very clean. We have a chart here on the prizes, which is very good. And you can change it to a one week where you can see the trajectory of Neil's uh, price. Uh, we even hit the low as six dollars and 21 cents and we even hit seven dollars at some point and on one month scale we can see it even larger and if you want to claim gas and obviously you have to have neo in order to do so it's just done basically through a one click it starts to calculate the thing you don't need to sign anything basically and there will be a sound in a couple of seconds ding, something like that and basically that it has now then claimed all the gas that you have currently unclaimed on the platform. Also, there are, you know, as I said, there are many wallets that support Neo, but I don't think there's a single one currently right now that is supporting um, 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 tokens. So NEP5 is the standard token on the Neo blockchain. And right now, um, I got like three of them. Because they are so costly to issue, you don't really get rained with any, any spam tokens or anything like that. In case you have some tokens, I'm very free to take them in case you want to give me. Um, and let's kind of look into what is included on this wallet. So first of all, there's a refresh tab where you can fluctuate the or, or change the current prices for everything and get the latest information here. You can... Um, see the wallets and import them, create them, etc. And there's also an activity tab which shows you all these transactions that have been done. Um, you can name the accounts which are which address and so they have a contact book which is very convenient. There's also the sending tab where it shows you the tokens and everything and how much you want to send and it gives you also options on um, how much is going to be the gas fee you want a very fast, faster or fast tower transaction. And this is very nice. There's the QR code option here as well, which is um, obviously a very important feature to have. And you can have multiple recipients. Very convenient thing. And this is the part where you're going to be opening your Neo wallet and sending me a bunch of fucking money. <laughs> okay, joking. Uh, tips, as always, are optional, guys. I always appreciate the work. And more tips I get, more work I can do on every blockchain, and that's amazing. But um, this is, you know, QR codes. I love them. I wish there was actually a one that I could create with the Neo logo on the middle, something the developers should maybe look into like a QR generator, you know, like a nice side service as we as we saw here on the um, send tab. Like I want this, but with the Neo thing so people can send it to me. Um, there's contacts, we kind of already went through that. There's also like a token sale. I have seen this kind of like empty all the time, so I'm not really uh, seeing much utility for it. There's also a news tab, which takes up 
couple of seconds to load and there's a bunch of Neo related information here. Um, what are the sources? I am not 100% sure because I haven't had the time to usually dig around. This seems to be from a one or two places, but you know, it's not a bad idea to have more trustworthy sources in general, but it's kind of nice to also be in the loop with the specific coin that you're holding. So you have the latest information about forks, uh, what is happening on the blockchain, all the events that you might be having in your city or in your country, which you want, may, might want to might want to go to. Um, then on the settings, you can also change a lot of things like the dark and light theme. I think the light theme is quite bright. So this is the default one, by the way. So I definitely prefer the dark. There's also the sound thing. Apparently that was off. That's why we didn't hear that earlier. You can also change your notes here. Explorers from the three different ones. And mainnet and test nets. That's very nice too. And you can also recover and encrypt wallets and back up them too. And there's also a Discord community for Neon Wallet in case you want to get more uh, into the stuff. There's also a way to add a token. Um, I haven't used this feature, so I guess I have to just increase at the hash and that's it. But overall, um, Neon Wallet is probably the best desktop wallet on Neo and it's very convenient due to the token support and the gas claiming feature and all of these other additional securities which other multi-coin wallets may not offer. So definitely, if you are into Neo, you should definitely look into the Neon Wallet. It also has, um, it doesn't actually have an auto updater, but every time there's a new patch, there will be like a pop, uh, pop up text in the actual wallet where you'll be seeing the new version is basically available, available just like this, but different text. And that pretty much is my conclusion of Neon Wallet. Um, and maybe I will have some other Neo dApps um, reviewed in the future. If you are a dApp creator, um, you can contact me at lightliger at protomail.com and maybe you can work something out. Maybe I can do a feature over your DeFi application or a game or a website or something like that. Just leave me an email or you can contact me on Twitter as well. If people want to send me tokens, Neo or Neo Gas, I'm also upsetting them. Here's my address for those who are interested in. Please make sure to subscribe to the channel for more content. At least I have a Neo Faucet video coming out very soon. So top five Neo Faucets. Stay tuned for that coming in maybe next week. And I will see you guys next time. Thanks for watching.